Hey guys, welcome back. I hope everybody had a great 4th of July. We had a wonderful time here. We had um, a couple of get-togethers with friends and family and lots of food and adult beverages. It was a really good time and I didn't even realize how much I had missed all that um, last year. So today I just wanted to put up a little video. I'm gonna take it way back in YouTube history, a little video um, so you can get to know me better if anybody wants to, I don't know. Um, so I got this these questions off the internet like they used to back in the in the day and I chose some questions and I'm just gonna go through and answer them and um, leave any other questions you have or if you do in the comments um, below. So the first question is what is my zodiac sign and for the tropical zodiac if you know anything about tropical and sidereal zodiac and the tropical zodiac is what most people have gone by all their whole lives so that one would be i'm an aquarius i'm a february baby born dead in the winter <laughs> um the sidereal one i would be a capricorn because the dates are a little um changed a little bit but you know whichever one you like i've always said i was an aquarius so i'm gonna stick with that my middle name is k k a y and my best friend who's my best friend her name is diana and we met at work and we've known each other for going on 40 years now and i can't even believe it but I knew that I wanted to be friends with her. As soon as I saw her, and I've told her this story before, there was just something about her persona or her, I don't know, personality that I just was immediately attracted to. And I thought to myself, she's going to be my friend. And then it bloomed into a very deep friendship. But she left me and moved to Florida about seven or eight years ago. So, you know, things happen, but the point is we still stay in touch. Am I married or single? I'm married for, it'll be 22 years later on this month. Um, how tall am I? Well, at the height of my glory, I was 5'6". That's what my license says. But now I've shrank, you know, because I'm a senior citizen now. <laughs> I've shrank um, almost an inch, so I'm 5'5". Five five. Not very tall. What is my favorite movie? My favorite movie is going to maybe be weird for some people. It's from the 90s, um, and it is Bram Stoker's Dracula. Now, I'm sure that there are other movies out there that I can think of. Like, I love old movies from the 30s and 40s, but just, you know... That's the first one that came to my mind, Bram Stoker's Dracula. To me, it's got everything. It's got superb acting. It's got um, romance. It's got the scary stuff. It's got the vampire thing that I've always kind of been into. So that's my favorite movie. You really should watch it if you haven't. Um, do I like scary movies or romantic comedies? Scary movies or drama all the way. I am not into romantic comedies. They make me feel sick to my stomach. That's not the way life is. Sorry to be bitter about it, but yeah, scary movies. Do I, would I rather be on the computer or watch TV? I'm a TV baby. I was born in the middle of the 50s and TV was just getting its legs under it. And it was on all the time, even if just for background noise, you know. It seemed like mom always had the TV on. I've always watched TV. I've always loved TV. I just, I just love TV. And in this day and age, when we've got 100 million stations and movies and things that we can watch, it keeps me entertained. And just like my mom, a lot of times I leave it on in the background and I'm not even watching it. But it's just voices that I can hear other than the ones in my head, not really. 
Um, and then the last two questions, this question is, who do I miss? Well, I mean, there's not just one person. There's people who have passed away that I miss. You know, my parents, my um, nephew-in-law that we lost this year. Um, I mean, I miss my sister-in-law. I, there's just too many people. There's not one person that I miss. I just, it goes around like something will remind me of that person and then that's who I miss for that, you know, time. So I don't want to get emotional. And the last question is three things that upset me. <laughs> well, again, there's not just three. I mean, I am anxiety ridden and I overthink and I let things get to me, even though I try not to. I try my best not to, but sometimes they do anyway. So I guess, um, you know, th things that would really upset me would be like if I got a notification from the bank that something was wrong or there was a weird activity on my account. I don't even want to say it because you know, I don't want to jinx myself. Um, or of course, you know, bad news about any of my family, but pretty much anything, since I'm always teetering on the edge, pretty much anything can upset me. So I guess that's not really a fair question. I probably shouldn't have wrote that one down to ask because pretty much anything can upset me. So anyway. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. I just thought I'd throw it back a few years to old YouTube and I hope you enjoyed it a little bit and I will see you the next time.